going on, y'all? This is Mike with Mike's MMW, Movies, Music, and Wings. Here to give you another weekly recap. I'm going to give you a brief rundown of any movies and shows I recently watched, any music I've listened to, any wings that I've eaten. Uh, first, y'all already know, Power, Season 6, Episode 10, the mid-season finale. Boy, uh, let me take a drink first. Let me just say Ghost was feeling the shit out of himself this episode. Like, this motherfucker was just high and mighty. Thought he was the shit back to the old ghost. Like, you can't see me. You can't touch me. This nigga was coming for Tasha. This nigga came for Dre. This motherfucker was going with a Tommy. Motherfucker went at Tate. Was just fucking coming at everybody. Like, bro, you need me. You need me. You can't do this for me. I'm going to suck down your druggy day kid. da 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 Ghost, boy. This motherfucker, like... As soon as, like, he was on top of everything all through the episode. So, I'm like, he, he only got one way to, but to go down. So, I knew at the end of the episode, something was going to go down. And, you know, we'll talk about that. But, like, this nigga was just on top of everything from the, you know, beginning of the episode. Just talking all kinds of reckless to everybody and shit. But then nigga started seeing Angie again. I'm like, this nigga going crazy. He's seeing ghosts, bro. He in the fucking hotel leaning on Angie, fake leaning on Angie, about to fall over in real life. Like, this nigga was doing... He doing way too much. Like, as soon as I think Ghost getting back on top, he starts seeing ghosts. Like, that can't be healthy for nothing. Like, business arrangements, your, your fucking street dealings, or whatever the fuck going on. None of that shit is healthy for anything. You seeing ghosts, bro. Like, fucking, t uh, fucking Jamie. But, like, this whole episode was wild. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, like, they was trying to get, like, nobody was getting at this thing. Like, all, the police was trying to get at him. Fucking, uh, what's the name? Blanca was trying, and Sax was trying. Sax got caught up. Blanca turned into Sax with fake evidence and shit like that. Like, they, it's just not working. It's just not working for nobody and shit. And, like, and Ghost trying to get to, to reek to fucking go to jail for this nigga. Like, so, this brings it all down to, like, all right. Obviously, Jamie got shot. Ghost got shot in the episode. This nigga falling and shit. All dramatic, cinematic. He falling. Ah, hole in his chest. All right, so who shot Ghost? That's the question. Like, we need to find out. It's mid-season finale. We got to come back for a couple months. Like, who shot Ghost? Everybody was coming up to all his enemies. Everybody he know. Tate, Tommy, Tasha, Blanca, Sex, Dre. Everybody was in. Uh, Angie's sister, what's name? Paz was coming up to, to the fucking truth at the end of the episode with pistols loaded. Everybody ready to get this nigga song. We don't know who shot this nigga. Like, again, but I'm gonna tell y'all, you know, what I think, you know, Tariq killed this man. Tariq killed, shot his daddy. I mean, he ain't dead, but like, Tariq shot his daddy. And, uh, reason being is, you know, earlier in the episode, Tariq came up to the ghost and was like, yo, tell me why you killed Breeze. And Breeze was the dude that, you know, that um, school Tommy and Ghost and came into the game and whatnot, and Ghost was like, you know, he he got in the way of my future, you know, and I gave him a second chance. I mean, I gave him one last chance, and whatever, it didn't work out, so I had to shoot him. All right, so that that all came out with the conversation of how Ghost was like, I need you to turn yourself in. You like, you turn yourself in, um, to re go to jail. We get you. We handle everything. Da 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 da. da. So at the end of the episode. Tariq come back, go, goes to the club, suited and booted, and was like, Dad, you really want me to turn myself in? Ghost like, yeah. All right, Tariq, leave. And, like, that's Tariq giving Ghost the second chance, one last opportunity and whatnot. Then fucking come back, bow, blast his ass. Like, that's that's got to be the obvious, because everybody else was sneak coming up to the club, being gangster, trying to fucking sneak up on Ghost, and the, Tariq's the only one leaving, you know, leaving the fucking crime scene or, or, or going the opposite direction when they do that little montage at the end and shit like and we don't know if that was at the same time that could be afterwards like he coming down he walking down the steps like i'm gonna show you the, the face like this is the face of a motherfucker that just shot his daddy like he suited the boot he looked like the new ghost y'all see him in that motherfucking suit that's little ghost 2.0 like he shot his daddy like i can't think of anything else like but somebody else tell you, I online talking about Q Man did it, and like somebody was following him in the web and whatnot. But nah, to reach out his daddy, that's it. That's that's my bet is going. Like you, you know, but tell me who y'all think shot Ghost. You know, there's many a people that want to see this man down and whatnot. But like, 
I think Tariq did it. Like, no, no, no. he gave him a second. Like, they played all of that shit up. Like, I gave him one last opportunity. You know, Tariq showed up. Like, you really want me to turn myself in, Pops? Yeah, all right. I'm going. Wow. That's it. You see, you, you shot your fucking go seeing daddy. Go seeing ghosts. The club, the, the name of the club is called True. All he's been doing is lying. So, I'm sure that got to play into it somehow. Like, shit was crazy. Power season six, episode ten, mid season finale. Like that shit was wild. We got January fifth or whatever. We gotta wait till we come back, but five more episodes. Oh, shit was crazy. Mm. All right. The other show I've been watching. The show is tight. Um, Watchmen, you know, HBO new series on Watchmen based on a comic book. They did a movie back in you know a couple years ago. And, I mean, a couple years ago, uh, about 10 years ago, whatever. Watchmen, based on, like, superheroes. It's a DC comic. It's, like, realistic superheroes, like, modern-day shit. Um, this, the, the show is starring Regina, uh, Regina Hall, no, Regina King. She in this shit. Um, it's tight, man. Like, she plays, a, she plays a retired cop who is now, like, a mass vigilante cop. Uh fighting white supremacists and like it's tight like this, this shit was I didn't like the movie when it came out and so the show is not based on the movie it's, it's more or less based on the comic book set in, the comic book set in the past so this is set in modern day so it's like you really you don't need to read a comic book to see it but like it is dope like it the, the the show opens up with like a bunch of black people running around getting shot up in, in um, Tulsa, Oklahoma and whatnot. Just a bunch of like KKK members running around shooting all these black people, blowing up the city and whatnot. So I had to Google this shit. It was called the um, Tulsa Race Massacre. You know, this is a real, a real live event. Like I'm, I'm watching this show. I'm like, this shit gotta be fake. I Googled it. Tulsa Race Massacre. This is like the Black Wall Street. This is like legit Black Wall Street. You know, y'all hear about Black Wall Street all the time, think it's a gang or whatever, but like this shit is based on real life shit. Like there was a, some shit went down in Tulsa. Tulsa was thriving. They had their own, you know, business, black people had their own businesses and run shit. Like it was, it was lit. And all of a sudden some shit went down. White people just showed up and fucked it all up a couple of days. Like, I mean, it was just, it was terrible. Like it opens up, you think it's a fictional event, but nah, like, so the whole show, you know, it kind of stems for that. It stems from that, and like it's all, you know, the white supremacists is you know doing wearing the uh, the Rorschach mask now and shit. Like it's wild. It's a lot to try to get into. I definitely recommend that. It's, you know, it's superheroes, but it's kind of like it's is 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 toned down. And like it's one of them shows you gotta you gotta pay attention. Like if you miss like five minutes of this shit, or you miss you know somebody saying something, like you you gonna be lost because they gonna flip that you know the next episode. Oh shit, that's what they was talking about. Like this shit is tight. Regina King kills this shit. Like it's definitely dope. Like I definitely like this show. I, I was watching it by myself and like I'm all into the superheroes and whatnot. And I told my girl like you might like this shit. Like you might want to check this out. So I showed my girl. She's like. Alright, we gotta watch this. So I'm like, nah, I can't watch it without her. Like, she even into that shit. Like, it's dope. I definitely recommend Watchmen. It's on HBO. It airs on Sundays. We're only three episodes in. Shit is tight. Like, it's, it's superheroes, but it's like modern day shit. Like, all the cops gotta wear masks. Because one day, like, um, uh, whatever, the, the terrorists wind up finding out where all the cops, all the cops' names and addresses is in the city. And they, they hit, like, a, uh, it was just a strike all at once. And fucking showed up all the cops houses and just fucking trying to shoot all the cops at one time and shit so the senator or the governor passed a law or passed an act where all the cops can wear masks and nobody knows who, who the cops are and shit like that it's tight like definitely recommend this Watchmen, hbo check that out all right uh, movies i watched this this week uh little monsters this shit is um it's a zombie comedy zombie movie it's got lupita from uh, us and you know Wakanda. The only reason I watch this is because of her. Like I, you know, I, I like Lupita. You know, I'm trying to support. But this shit was dumb. Like I knew it was a zombie comedy, and like those zombie movies in general are hit or miss. Like either you a Dawn of the Dead or you a fucking Osama bin Zombie, some dumb ass shit. Like either you you hitting or missing. With a zombie movie, either you got you come you bring to the table some graphic 
badass, you know, new take on the zombies, or you just some dumbass shit. And this is just some dumbass shit. Like it's so pretty much uh, it's revolving around this this dude. They in Australia. This dude, he just you know him and his girl just broke up. He going to stay with his sister. His sister got a he uh, got a son, a little nephew. He wanted to take his nephew to school one day. Uh, his teacher is Lapita. He you know he's in praise. Like, oh, I like her and whatnot. He winds up trying to like. He, he volunteers to go on the, the field trip for the class, you know, trying to get with Lapita. They want to go to the petting zoo, the military base next door, you know, gets over with zombies, and the zombies float to the petting zoo. And so they got up with Lapita and the bullshit Uncle Uncle Dave, got to protect the kids and make sure the zombies don't get them and whatnot. Like, it's just stupid. Like, it wasn't even, wasn't even clever. There was nothing even, I laughed a couple times, but like, it was just dumb. I've seen... A lot of the zombies on The Walking Dead, like they, like it was, it was like it was just making fun of itself the whole time. Like Lapita was alright, but she wasn't even in it that much. Like she, we didn't get enough of her to like really feel it and like, alright, this is Lapita's movie, da da da. Like it wasn't even, she was secondary. Like she was, she was a character, but like we wasn't really feeling her. We didn't get enough of her. Um, the kids was cool. Like the little nephew was probably the best character. I felt like he was the. He was the, the most badass one in the, in the show, in the movie and whatnot. Like, he, little, um, fuck, I forgot his name, but little boy was badass. Uh, the kids was cool. It was just stupid. Like, it was just a bullshit, you know, zombie comedy. Like, it was nothing special. Like, I didn't take nothing away from this. Like, it's, a, it's on Amazon it's a, or Hulu. It's a Hulu exclusive movie or whatever. Like, we passed. Little Monsters, I get this a 2 out of 10. Bullshit zombie comedy, two out of ten. Um, ooh, excuse me. You can read my full review for this on my Instagram, Facebook, on my website, mikesmmw.com. Little Monsters, two out of ten. Bullshit. Not even checking for it. All right. So, next one Harriet. I went to see Harriet. Um, so this is clearly based on Harriet Tubman, you know, the, um, she was a woman, you know, obviously I'm sure you know about Harriet Tubman. She, uh, she's a woman that, you know, escaped slavery. She wound up running a hundred miles from Maryland to Pennsylvania, I mean, to Philadelphia to, you know, to escape slavery. And she winds up, you know, being a, uh, being the woman that comes back and starts freeing the slaves and whatnot. She, she's the, you know, the underground railroad conductor and whatnot. Like, so it's pretty much, the movie is based on, you know, pretty much picks up when she takes off from the plantation. Like, she finds out she can't be free. She winds up taking off that night, leaves her family, leaves her husband, you know, takes off, gets free, and, you know, she plots to, like, come back and, you know, pick everybody up, pick her family and friends, you know, running back and forth between the plantation um plantations and you know getting them free and like this shit was tight like i'm just gonna like it, it's it's based on real life events on a real person but they you know they put in fictional shit like it's you know it's a uh historical fiction you know movie it's not an autobiography you know black people was up in arms about this shit how they you know how they added fake characters to it and like there's a there's a black bounty hunter that's looking for, you know, looking for Harry Tubman, which it was a fake character, and he winds up beating a black woman to death and whatnot, and people are just up in arms and just so woke up, trying to be so woke over this shit. Like, it's it's not even, like, the, the fake shit they put in the movie is, is didn't even take away from the story. Like, it's just, like, it, it's, it's okay. The movie was still good by itself. We still get... The basis of Harriet Tubman. We still were able to tell Harriet Tubman's story, how she was just you know, this badass woman, no more than five foot, and was able to fucking run back and forth over a hundred miles and free. She freed over seventy slaves through the Underground Railroad, and allegedly she didn't lose not one of them. Not one of them got caught through that whole time. Family and friends, and seventy slaves running back and forth in the middle of the night, like crazy. Like, this one was incredible, and this movie did not take away from that. Like, this is not necessarily a slave movie. Like, you know, it's about Harriet Tubman, who was a slave, 
but it does, it's not like we're not seeing people get whipped. We're not seeing lynchings and all that shit. And black people getting fucked up or by the white man or whatnot. We don't see none of that. Like this is about her life and you know and her fucking her legacy and what she did through the you know her life saving all these black folks and all these slaves and whatnot. And like shit was great. Like it was really good. Um, you, I mean, I learned some things about her. How she had like a fucking. Um, uh, head trauma when she was little and wound up causing her to have like uh, seeing shit, having like premonitions and like going into days, going into a daze and whatnot, and like and thinking she's talking to God that way. And they played that into the movie, and it was kind of weird sometimes how like they be running and running through the woods and whatnot, and all of a sudden she fucking do like this, like I right, we ain't gonna left. Like it was weird, like uh, it was kind of cool, it was unbelievable, but. She figured it out somehow. Like, whatever the fuck was going on in her head was helping her out. And, like, it was cool, man. Like, we, I, like I learned that, you know, I, I knew enough. I knew the basics of her where she, you know, she was the abolitionist and she fucking uh, led the Underground Railroad, da-da-da. But I didn't know she was the first woman to lead, you know, an armed, you know, uh, armed forces into 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 battle and shit like that. And, and she wound up being... Uh, Freeing like over seven hundred slaves during a you know a specific raid during the Civil War and whatnot and like five foot five foot you know black lady and shit like wound up come on like it don't get no better than that like she this was this was a woman and she definitely deserved to be on a twenty dollar bill like shit was great and like I said but motherfuckers is mad that the you know the person to play Harriet is a British it's a British actor and like and once again it's this is another slave movie with fictional characters that, you know, take away from Harriet's story. And why can't it be, you know, historically accurate and da 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 Like, motherfucker, just watch the movie and be entertained. Like, it's not it's not an autobiography. You're not watching the History Channel. Like, it's entertainment. Like, you're not going to go to the movie theaters and pay to watch some shit that's going to be on the History Channel. Like, you can, you can watch that shit online. Motherfucker, like, movie was good. Highly recommend Harriet. 7 out of 10. Read the full review on my Facebook, Instagram, website, MikeTheMMW.com. Highly recommend watching Harriet. Like, shit was good. Like, I highly recommend it. Like, Harriet was killing it. Like, she did not fuck around. Like, and they painted her, they painted her, I said online, like, they painted her out to be a saint. Like, I'm sure she may have did some fucked up shit in her time. Like, you know, doing it. Like, maybe kill some black folks or, like, kill some white people, you know, in the process of trying to get, you know, get her folks and whatnot and whatnot, like, but they don't show none of that. They, they ain't show her killing anybody or doing any fucked up shit. I, you know, I was supposed to be a good movie, she's a hero and whatnot, but I would like to see that, you know, once again, historical fiction, we're not going to see everything, we're not going to see the true story, but I like to see a, a little more gritty version. Shit was good. Watch Harriet. Don't be mad. Support that shit. Y'all thought, I'm not going to see it and shit. Motherfucker, when I see Black Panther and drones and shit, but you're not going to see a fucking a movie based on real, real life characters and shit, real people and whatnot. Like, you're going to see fucking Wakanda and T'Challa like a motherfucker, but we ain't going to go see Harriet. Come on. And nobody probably going to see the Nat Turner movie too. Y'all motherfuckers trying to, ah, uh, it's historically accurate and whatnot. Like, but y'all ain't see The Birth of a Nation. Crazy. All right. Tip of the movies. Um, all right, wings this week. Fucking mambo sauce, boy. This is the shit. This is the you know a DC exclusive, DC area exclusive. Uh, Pop sent me this shit. It's the, you can order this online, but it's the Capital City mambo sauce. I got the sweet hot version. Uh, this shit is incredible, y'all. Like. Uh, once again, if you are not familiar with what Mambo Sauce is, it is a DC, you know, area exclusive. It's a staple in the community. Like, it's part of the culture. Like, if you're from DC, the DC area, DMV, you know what's up with Mambo Sauce. Like, and this is your shit. Like, it should be your shit if it's not. Um, you typically, you, you're going to order some fried chicken wings and fries from a Chinese carryout. You're going to have a you're gonna order some mambo sauce with it. You're gonna have them put it on the wings directly after they've been fried, or you're gonna, you know, have it's gonna be a dipping sauce on the side. 
All right, so that's how you get mambo sauce. This shit is incredible. It's like a mix between barbecue sauce and sweet and sour sauce. And depending on where you get it from, you know, somebody somebody may make it hot. Some people may make it sweet. Either way, it is good. It's nice and you know, it's, it's thick. It's got a little, it's got texture to it. It's not like it's not like watery or anything like a hot sauce. This shit is a sauce. It's a dipping sauce. It's supposed to stick to the chicken. Shit is great. Um, so I've never had it like cooked directly on the chicken. So when I grill my wings, you know, I make sure they look crispy. I fry, you know, I fucking uh, brush the mambo sauce on them on the wings. Let them shits grill up for another 20 minutes. Like, this shit was great, y'all. This is great. This Capital City mambo sauce, sweet heat, uh, sweet hot. I'm sorry. This shit, shopcapitalcity.com. Like, y'all want to get this. Y'all want to check this out. This is incredible. Mambo sauce. I know y'all heard about some mambo sauce. Uh, I get this a five out of five. You know, I'm probably a little biased, but this shit was great. Like, it's got a little kick to it, nothing crazy. Like, you taste, ah, ah. you know, you taste it's got something in there, but it's not gonna kill you. Like, it's not gonna kill you at all. I even, you know, I, I grilled it up on the wings. I had to put, put some on the side and dip it in afterwards. I was eating them. Like, we murdered at least, I think we like, cooked up like 30 wings, me and my girl, with this, and we murdered them things. Like, they were great. Burnt them up a little bit, so they're a little crispy. Oh, man. Capital City Mambo Sauce, Sweet Hot. Highly recommend that. Y'all want to get some Mambo Sauce. Once again, I said uh, shopcapitalcity.com. Y'all want to check this out. This shit was great. Highly recommend this. Five out of five. Read my full review for that and other things that we've discussed on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on my website, mikesmmw.com. Check all that out. Once again, let me know who y'all think shot Ghost. I'm telling y'all that's Tariq. You know, you put some bets on that if you want to, but I'm pretty sure it's Tariq. Like, the spinoff is, we got five more episodes and we got a spinoff. And, like, what else are we going to have a spinoff? Some of them characters are going to have to flow over. And Tariq walking down with that motherfucking suit, it's Ghost 2.0. For real. All right, y'all, that was it for this week. Check me back next week.